This is VCC Connection, and my name is Ray, and I'm so glad you've joined me today. I want to read to you again from Jonathan Kahn's Book of Mysteries. Um, this meditation he's done that I'm going to read really impacted me, and um, I want to share it with you. It's called The Secret Place. And he writes, We were walking on the side of a mountain when he found an opening into something of a cave. He went inside and motioned for me to follow. Do you know, said the teacher, what the holiest place on earth was? No, I replied. It was called the Kodesh HaKodashim. It means the Holy of Holies. I've heard of it. It was the holiest place of the holy sanctuary, the innermost chamber of the temple. It can only be entered on the holiest day of the year, Yom Kippur. It was there that the most important event of the biblical year took place, the Act of Atonement, the holiest act in the holiest place on the holiest day. And do you know how many people witnessed this most holy of acts? No, only one, the high priest, who performed it. No one else saw it. How many people do you think could come into the Holy of Holies? I don't know. Only one. It was made to hold just one person. One person and the glory of God. So no one could see what happened there, even when it was the most important event of the year, and that on which everyone's relationship with God depended. It all took place in secret. The most holy event was the most secret of events. The most holy moment, the most secret moment. And the most holy of places, is the secret place. So what is the holiest place on earth now? The secret place, he replied. And where is it? It's wherever you make it. It's where you go to be with him. It's the place that can contain only one person, just you and the presence of God and nothing else. So the secret place must be totally separate, totally secret, and totally apart from the rest of your life, from the world, even from the things of God. The most holy place only has room for you and Him. As it is written, O oh my dove, in the clefts of the rock, in the secret place of the cliff, let me see your face, let me hear your voice, for your voice is sweet and your face is lovely. And that is from Song of Solomon, if you want to go find it. It's the most important place you can dwell, for it is there that you'll find his presence, hear his voice, and see his glory. For they only reside in the most holy of places the secret place. The mission for today is go into the secret place apart from the world and even the things of him away from everything but his presence. We've talked about a secret place before of spending time with him in, in your uh, divine imagination a place that's special to you and God. And we've talked about walking on beaches and climbing and playing ball and singing and dancing. and Lots of times I go to my secret place and I sit and I talk to him about problems and, and ask his advice and, and I think, oh wow, that's, this is so good. But in this one, it says to go away from even the things of God. 
And I thought, oh, wow. Isn't the secret place then where I just look at him? And he looks at me, or, or maybe it's not even looking at him, but just coming up next to him and pressing into him. I think of when my husband and I sit on the couch and he puts his arm around me and I snuggle in and lay my head on his shoulder. And we just sit. We don't talk. We don't do anything. Is that what God wants from us? I think so. I think that's what our secret place should be. Pressing into him, looking into his eyes, feeling his breath upon our face, smelling his smell, and in that, knowing him. Looking at him, him looking at me. Just the two of us. In this meditation, he speaks about that Day of Atonement and the High Priest going into the Holy of Holies. And I wondered if the priest even said anything. I wondered if he was just silent. And God, sitting on the mercy seat, sitting on mercy, looked upon that holy priest. And the holy priest looked upon him. And that was enough. I want to share with you a, a poem I wrote when I was thinking about this just God and me, me looking at him and him looking at me. Let me share it with you. To be looking at you and you looking at me, that's the way it's meant to be, my Savior, my King. To have your love, to see your face, that's the way it's meant to be, held in your embrace. That's the way it's meant to be, just you and me. So my beloveds, today, this week, every day, Go to that secret place where it is just room for you and him. And snuggle in or whatever. Look at him. Touch him. And know how much you're loved and valued and treasured. So enjoy your secret place with God. Thanks for listening. I'll see you next time. To be looking at you and you looking at me That's the way it's meant to be My Savior my King To have your love To see your face That's the way it's meant to be Held in your embrace That's the way it's meant to be Just you and me